Hey YouTube, Dime Digger here. This is uh, this is our camp we have. My dad, it's my dad bought it a couple years ago. But as you can see, there's a slate roof, just a block building, and then we're actually putting an addition on, and we've been working on that since a couple years now. But it's a little process when you don't live by it. You can see, there's a electric line going over there to a well. There is no electric coming to this camp. It is an off-grid camp, but uh, there's a generator in the back, and you can see there's a propane tank over there. But I'm just going to show you what I'm doing today, doing a little cleanup work over here, some trees I cut down last year. But there's a big pavilion up there, and there's our camper and a couple bicycles and stuff. But this is where we're at Labor Day weekend, and uh, I'll go show you what we're doing. Stay tuned. As you can see, I got a fire going there. I've been burning brush all morning. This used to be a big brush pile, and then there's another brush pile there I got to clean up yet. You can see I'm doing it North Country off-grid style. There's my saw cutting the firewood, burning all the brush. This is a spruce tree or uh yeah, spruce tree that I cut down last year. And there's three of them here, and you can see I did a lot of cleanup already. Don't mind the chainsaw, that's not being used. This is all off-grid. But uh that was a brush bob, I'm still cleaning up that. Here's some essential tools that you need. A splitter that's a brand new handle I had to put on I've had that go devil for seven eight years I broke the handle a couple weeks ago just got a new one on it and then uh, there's a Fisker's machete those things are nice there's a the hook blade cut a lot of brush with that thing there's a piece of wood I'm gonna show you a proper way to split a piece of wood here in a minute off-grid style with the steel go devil here's my selfie stick just made this put my camera in that's a true selfie stick there off-grid selfie stick <laughs> whatever they're called there's another splitter I just bought that one not long ago I don't like it it's too uh it's too light it's good for really dead wood but it's too thin doesn't cut this live stuff this this tree's been down for a year but it's still real wet and you'll see when I split it it's not not easy splitting wood but the first thing when you split a piece of wood is, first of all, have a good base. I'm using one of the old stumps there. Put the wood on that so you're not, it doesn't get sucked up like a sponge into the ground. And then you look. I don't know if you can see this or not. Probably not. See that crack line right there? You always see which way the wood wants to be split. And that, that crack line is an indication that's where I want to hit it. So I want to aim right there for that crack. Try to split it across that way. That's a, I don't know, 8, 10 inch piece of wood. I've already split a lot of it. There's all, there's some of it that I split earlier. Nice little pile of wood that we got from over here. And that's all outdoor burning stuff for the campfire outside. But anyway, I'll put the camera down here and let's see if I can whack that piece of wood in half. Be back in a minute. There's my selfie. There's my selfie stick ready to go. I'm going to sit the phone down in here. Look at that. Perfect. Like I said, you want to hit this. And you should wear a pair of gloves too. Here's a good pair of gloves that a good pair of work gloves. I'll put them on real quick. Every other time I do this, I don't usually wear them, but end up with blisters. But right there is that crack line. So let's see if it'll split right there. If you can see, it's real punky. That I sunk that halfway down there and didn't split. But two hits. I always split it again. It's always easier the second time. And uh, there we go. There's another piece for the pile. But again, like I said, if you believe me that I was using that saw to cut that wood, true off grid style. I know a guy in Arizona, his name's Ray Failman. He might sell you some oceanfront property right next to him but uh i'm gonna get going here got a lot more work to do gotta use that machete cut up some of this brush and uh get it on the burn pile but for now this is dime digger living off grid and i'm gone well i got that pile almost cleaned up it's all on the fire just starting i threw a lot of the wet stuff on on the top of it so it's just starting to burn up through but anyway, I'm gonna walk out the driveway here. I gotta walk out about a quarter mile or 
three eighths of a mile to get some uh, service so I can upload this video. But uh, if you haven't watched my video, not the last one, but one before it, don't mind the diaper in the middle of the driveway. My daughter likes taking them off and peeing in the wild. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> she uh, must be up this way somewhere. If you didn't watch, I think it was two videos. There's something about the uh, there's something entitled about God. But Monday, Labor Day, Monday night, I'm going to do a giveaway. It's my birthday Monday, so what better way to celebrate than give some poured silver away for when I hit a thousand back a month ago or so. So make sure you get a comment on that video, and uh, I'll have the links to Rafe and. North Country Off Grid down below, check them out. They're both great channels and I mentioned both their names in this video. So make sure you check them out, give them a sub and watch some of their videos. Uh, they're both great people. And uh, make sure you leave a comment on one of North Country Off Grid's videos saying, where's the duck race? But for now, I gotta walk here another, I don't know, 10 minutes or so. So uh, I'll upload this video and We'll catch you all Monday night. We'll see you for now. This is Dime Digger, and I'm gone.